Let's dive deeper now into our special robot revolution with a peek at the highest of the high tech. In fact, that is how Craig is here without truly Craig. being here. Craig, Whoa. what are you doing? Hey, What's hey going dude, on, man? what are you up to? There he is. Good. There he is. I like your dress, Oda. Thank you. So what, you just oh, wheeled right like in? I'm right there in the studio with everyone. This is great. <laughs> so th this is Ava Robotics. It's a telecommunications robot. It's just one of the... One of the cutting edge technologies that's pushing the boundaries of what robots can do. It's also lowering the barriers between man and machine. Are you ready for the robotics revolution? Robots are magical to people. It really inspires you to dream and inspires you to connect to your inner child and to all your aspirations and dreams. Dreams like colonizing Mars, which NASA's Valkyrie is designed to do. Controlling robots with our minds and self-steering wheelchairs. I'm excited about the next 60 years of robotics. The robots will work side by side with people, supporting people in their everyday activities at home, at work, and at play. Leading the way on integrating humans and robots in the workplace is Veo Robotics in Waltham, Massachusetts. What Veo Robotics is doing is allowing people and robots to work together in the same work cell and the same process step. The superhuman uh, speed and strength that robots have actually makes them dangerous to people. And so in most factories, robots are kept in cages so that nobody can get close enough to be hurt. Cutting edge mapping software changes that. As the robots move, the cameras that are placed around the work cell analyze everything that's going on in the work cell, identify the robot, and then project where all the points that the robot may reach. With an emphasis on assisting humans rather than replacing them. Humans have flexibility and dexterity and judgment that's way beyond what robots can provide. Veo lets you build a process where people and robots can work together to get the work done. Others are focusing on places where humans can't go. At MIT, the Cheetah 3 is designed for areas deemed too dirty, difficult, and dangerous, like building fires or natural and nuclear disaster sites. You can think of a power plant uh, checking some sensors in, uh, in high radiation uh, area. Or sometimes uh, you want to send a robot in a very high temperature area. So we can think of many different places where we don't want to send a human. The current model walks, climbs, runs, and even jumps. With a model designed after animals, like the cheetah for advanced mobility. Cars can work only if they're roads. Like the animal can handle all kinds of terrain. We need to have a leg system to really uh, achieve like a full, uh, the full terrain mobility. Elsewhere at MIT, other robots ditch legs and terrain all together, taking their technology under the sea. So with Sophie, we can really take a peek at the secret lives of fish without disturbing their activities. But much of the revolution will start closer to home. I think as robots develop their capabilities, um, it's important that they have the ability to, you have the ability to relate to it so that it just doesn't seem like a foreign device. Is there thinking behind making her look so human-like? The idea here is to have them sort of look like humans, but not too much. There's that the boundary of do they look too much like a human or a little creepy? Brace yourself for a brave new world. Wow. The best part about the potential robot yeah. revolution, guys, is that it would give the ability to work from home yes. all the yes. time. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. I can see that. Well, you could host a TV show, for example, uh -huh. from home. Can you walk What's the quality? Can you, it's, it's good. It's we good. got you. Yeah. Yeah. Can you walk around, Craig, a little more? Oh, there, there you go. Yeah, uh -huh. there he goes. Uh -huh. What does oh. jump out at you is in the education sector. We're still uh, here. A kid would yeah, be able to come into the classroom yeah. Yeah. for some reason. Careful. Could right. be a part of the classroom remotely using the robot. All right. Pretty cool. All right, Craig, thank you.